Welcome back to a new video. Here I am at Garage Gallicar in Mosedorf. I will leave the link in the description if you want to check out the car and the prices. Also, they have some great discount in this uh, in this month, so check them out. Uh, and I will have some fun with the new Renault Twingo Electric. We will make the test drive today. I will give you my impression about the car. Also, all the inf information, uh, you will have it right here in the video. Uh, if you are new on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. It's free, you don't have to pay nothing. Just click the subscribe button if you want to see the latest video and update that will come on my channel. Also, if you like the music in the video, the link is in the description. And until then, um, let's talk let's let me show you the technical detail let me talk a little bit about the car before I start driving it also before all of that I want to show you something for example the car come with a normal key so you have to lock and unlock the car from the key it doesn't have a keyless entrance and also you have to start the car with your key inside there so yeah this is something that you will see a little bit later but before I'm start driving it I want to tell you that this Renault Twingo electric it is the vibes version it comes with 82 horsepower also 160 Newton meter the price of the car normally with all those options plus vibe pack and navigation system and audio it comes with 25,000 but you have a 3,000 discount uh, and the price will be 22,900 francs. This is in Switzerland. If you are around Switzerland or in Switzerland, you can come at Gallicar uh, Garage here in Mosedorf. You can check them out. Um, they have, I tell you, they have some great discounts right now. Also, 1,243 kilograms, uh, 60.5 kilowatt hour battery. Those are the information for the moment. Let's start driving the car, then I will um, give you more information as we go also the car come with a 15 inch rims so keep in mind that uh, we have tires continental tires winter tires right now so uh, will be fun it's a front wheel drive car uh, also guys it looks pretty nice in my opinion it has a nice cute uh, design also you can charge the car uh, it comes with a 22 kilowatt hour battery lithium battery also you can charge the car at fast charging station with 22 kilowatt hour maximum speed and I think in around two hours it's full and this is the car also it has drums on the back braking discs in the front if I'm not wrong actually ventilated brake discs yes in the front and this is the design pretty beautiful pretty cute super nice car for the city drive if you want to see the full review with the car check it out on my channel I have the full review there you can see the, the space in the trunk and all that information that material uh, quality and the seats and yeah overall the design of the car so until then guys by the way it comes with an LED light pretty beautiful in the front so the car looks quite nice in the night time doesn't have a high beam LED or low beam LED but it has this daylight in LED that looks quite nice also I like the grill with the white here anyway let's drive it let's drive it guys all right guys let's drive this new Twingo electric let's go inside oh. This is the key, as I said before, you have to use it in a classic mode in order to start the engine. Let me put the seat belt right here, pretty simple. And I'm really curious how is to drive it. Also press the brake one time, contact, the engine is start. You can hear a beep when it's starting and it's ready to drive. It's a silent car, of course, because it's an electric car, it's normally to be silent. Um, now all you have to do guys is just let me see if i can yes cancel the route all right now i have the manual handbrake i have to leave it down it doesn't come with an electronic handbrake um sadly but i guess it's okay for this price it's quite awesome now all i have to do here is the gear shifter you have to press the button if you go in reverse by the way first one it's reverse it comes with a reverse camera you can see it right there and it's work pretty good the resolution is quite nice so you have a very good visibility right there in the back so you can park the car very easy it comes also with free parking sensors in the back the visibility here in this mirror up here is quite good so I have a very good visibility also on the on the windows uh, as you see in the review if you didn't see the review check it out on my channel 
there you can see that the car have a very good visibility on the window so in terms of visibility it's perfect if i press the button go all the way back i'm in drive mode right now uh, but if i go left like that you are in drive b mode b mode it means when you accelerate and you leave the acceleration the car will regenerate more energy i will use this right now and in this way you can regenerate more energy as you drive and that's a great feature to have it on the car let's start it it's silent also you have a button here by the way the car will make some noise if you want the car to make some noise you press this button and the car will make a noise so the people around the car will hear your car right now you can hear some noise the car makes some alien noise press in one more time it's quiet just like that anyway I want to be a little bit more quiet to be honest now let's drive it a little bit and let's see the feeling of driving it 82 horsepower it's more than enough for a city drive you can do a great job with the car and you can do some some driving home and work uh, also the range of the car 119 kilometer uh, if you drive in the city Renault claim that you can drive it around 270 kilometers so in my opinion i think it should be a little bit less but i think it's more 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 than enough anyway i like the visibility until now i like that it's silent i like the seats they are really comfortable also it's a very responsive car i like the the pedals until now the suspension are quite okay I drive for a while and the suspension are quite good also you can hear this sound I try to take it out just like that I like the car when it's very silent you know when you don't hear all the time that alien noise so anyway in the city it's very useful to have that song but when you go um, outside on the highway or on the national roads where you drive a little bit faster it's, it's kind of you can hear this noise it's not so fun let me go on the right side right here all right Here is the 50 kilometer, you drive 50. Actually, it stay pretty good on the road. I like it. I like the way it feels. It feels really, really good. Also, the pedals are really soft and nice. You can hear some, some noise from outside. That's clear from other cars and also from... Um, from the tires we have winter tires so it's normal to hear a little bit of noise also you can hear a little bit the engine in the front there how it's working but to be honest other than the noise from outside the car it feels quite good as as driving not bad at all let's try here the turning radius in this roundabout and wow it's quite good as expected for a small car like that it has a very good turning radius also uh, we will try to accelerate right here an acceleration yeah 160 newton meter you don't feel that super punchy 12.9 seconds 0 to 100 kilometer um, yeah it's it's not super fast for an electric car but for the city it's do his job perfectly it's do the thing that that the car should do is doing perfectly as i said before um it's it's you have a great visibility um it's a small car for the city you can see right here the turning radius as i said before 
it's super super good it's it's mega impressive in a small space like that you are able to turn the car that's impressive and also if you want to park the car you will park it in no time so in terms of driving it's it's just phenomenal it's very agile it feels really light because it's not so such a heavy car uh, even if it has that battery 23 kilowatt hour battery it's still a very very heavy you press the acceleration you feel a little bit of torque right now it's regenerate the energy you can see right there on the screen when it's regenerate the energy and when it it needs the energy it show you some lines uh, in the left side when it's regenerate and the right side when um, he need power um, yeah it's quite nice not bad not bad it's quite agile I like that it's agile this is this is the, the strong point agility uh, the fact that you have a good visibility guys uh, on the windows and also the fact that it's easy to drive easy to park uh, it's it's an affordable price it's, it has a very good price uh, for an electric car these days as you know electric cars these days are not very very cheap so keep this thing in mind uh, when we talk about electric cars yeah we drive 50 and and it's it's perfect it's perfect be honest the noise from outside is not very 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 big let me go here on the right side and the brakes are super good as I said I like very much the pedals are really soft also you have the climatic system very easy to to set from here manual it's automatic but you can use it also manually I like it I like the way it is also you have very good visibility on the windows also the seats are really comfy i like them they have sports seats those sports seats they are quite comfortable to be honest i like them the the, the steering wheel it's leather it has some nice little holes there great grip pretty agile and nice to use I like it. I, like, I can get used with this car. Driving home and work every day in the city, easy to park, no problem. You can park almost everywhere, in every parking place. You don't have to worry about someone scratching your car. And yeah, it's it's super easy to drive. You can see. I just press the acceleration. It's work like a charm. No problem at all. Pretty agile in every single. Um, place oh they did a great job with the car was right here the handlings are also not bad for the size of the car it's quite good really good really really good not bad at all I like it to be honest I like the car I think the maximum speed is 135 also on the curves it's doing a great job on the curves right here right here we have some curves it's doing all right it's doing quite okay quite all right right here on this road even at at a little bit higher speed he's doing a pretty good job you can turn on also the AC if you want to tunnel here you can see also the, the the night lights here if you want to see them also over the bumps we have some bumps here take the bumps pretty good so actually I didn't talk about the suspension until now 
I didn't find that mean they are good I didn't find so many holes to tell you like that if I go here over those bumps it's quite quite good it's not bad at all also you can see the turning radius here it's it's amazing amazingly good let's go back here are some bumps so over the bumps it's very good as you know the French guys make some amazing suspension the cars from France French uh, they are really good so that's something to keep in mind also you can see this bump here yeah it's doing a pretty good job great job great job Renault um, after the Renault Zoe um, it comes this Twingo that do a great job as well it stay pretty well on the road even at I can say at high speed here we have 80 and it stay pretty good 90 the freaks are good you can have some fun with it as well as I said before uh, it's not super super responsive but it's quite good and I like the brakes even here on those curves super nice really good great great job now the sun come from the front just like that I like it I like it to be honest I, I really like the car here are some bumps and wow for the size of the car 15 inch rims wow they do it really good really good over the bumps so in the city when you have a lot of bumps and um, it will be just fine it will be just perfect pretty good and also I like the steering wheel it's it's perfectly it's it's perfect the way it is the steering wheel it is just perfect I like it to be honest I like the steering wheel very much very very much not bad steering wheel it's really good Twenty-two thousand guys for for a car that can drive uh, around one hundred and ninety kilometer, maybe more in the summer if you drive only in the city, uh, maybe less in the winter. But overall, I should say one hundred fifty kilometer uh, with twenty-two thousand. Mm, it's a pretty good price for an electric car. Very practical, very good for for daily uses. I think. I think I can get used with a car like that, to be honest. You can get used without any problem with, with a car like that. And it's so easy to drive, I mean, it's it's so easy, it's so responsive. The car, it's, it's super responsive and super easy to drive. Here we have some bumps, you have a great visibility on the on the windows, on the mirrors. And quite quite nice super nice great car I'm, I'm almost almost done with the with the review guys also look at the camera there look how easy it is to drive the car you can see on the camera even the lanes so it's pretty pretty okay it's not bad not bad at all the camera it's it's pretty good I see much more expensive cars with with much much bad cameras uh, on the reverse I mean and this one it's it's quite good it's so agile as you can see I can go between those cones without any problem 
and you can park the car almost everywhere without any problem uh, if you have a little tight spaces put it in the park close this AC and then that that was my ride with the car guys I hope you enjoy it I hope it was helpful the test drive um, I hope you get some useful information from it and to make a short review about the car um, I like that it's agile the suspension are not bad um, the visibility is very good uh, you can hear a little bit of noise from outside but it's not that strong so it's it's acceptable it's quite good um, also I think the noise was more from the wheels but overall it's a pleasant ride uh, the seats are really good really comfortable you feel good uh, sitting here um, you have even heated seat so that that's great for the winter um, I like it overall I like the car I like the way it feels to drive I like the steering wheel it's quite agile and responsive um, yeah what can I say it's a super nice car if you want to see the review to see the practicality in the back because the car is super practical and um, the price of the car it's, it's quite impressive I think it's one of the most affordable electric car in this class and also overall in the market and as 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 I said before if you need a, a car that you can you can save a lot of money I think this Renault Twingo yeah it will do his job perfectly because you will save very much money if you drive electric uh, these days you can charge the car wherever you want you can charge it home you can charge it at fast charging stations um, and yeah I don't know I think um, in the future all of us we will go electric and this is the future guys so you have to think about that I don't know I hope it was helpful that was my my test drive uh, with a new Renault Twingo electric um, I hope you enjoy it thank you for watching my videos as always also like it share it if you if you enjoy the video uh, don't forget to subscribe it's free you don't have to pay nothing just click the subscribe button if you want to see and then you will see also the notification when the video will come out thank you for watching um, stay safe and I see you soon in the next one bye guys